Hello. Welcome to My Top Tips, my weekly show, episode 35. Every Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. AST. Today, I would like to talk about the risks associated with adoption of AI in the corporates. The sessions are recorded and the recordings are available on my YouTube channel for viewing later also and for viewing again and again. You can forward these to others also you, who you believe will benefit from these. Machine learning and artificial intelligence technologies are increasingly becoming integral components of organizational strategies across various industries. Almost all industries are using machine language and AI now. These technologies offer opportunities for automation, predictive analytics, and enhanced decision-making capabilities. To understand the current landscape of machine language and artificial intelligence adoption and associated policies, I've started a series of four polls, a research, Today's discussion is based on first two polls. The result from the first one, when I'm asking whether a company has got a formal policy about the use of machine language and artificial intelligence, no one said they didn't intend using machine language and artificial intelligence. 48%, which is very large number, said that there was no formal policy on usage of ML and AI in the company. This gets linked to the second poll a little later. 29% said they had. 24% that they had started discussions around having a policy. Having policy is very important for anything that you want to do in the organization. The policy is the statement of intent and commitment of the top management. The result from this first poll showed that a significant portion of organizations have not yet or had not yet released a formal ML AI usage policy, suggesting that while interest in these technologies is high, formal policies may still be in development or not prioritized. If you talk of awareness and discussion, a notable portion, 25%, 24%, sorry, of respondents reported that their organizations were discussing the implementation of ML, AI, or AI policies. This suggests a growing awareness of the importance of establishing guidelines and frameworks around ML and or AI usage. About 29% respondents whose organizations have already released ML or AI usage policies indicate an early adoption of structured approaches to govern the use of these technologies. This demonstrates a proactive stance towards managing potential risks and ensuring ethical use of ML and AI systems. But one option had a zero responses. So interestingly, none of the respondents indicated that their organizations do not intend to use ML and AI. This suggests a universal recognition of the potential benefits of these technologies, even if immediate adoption plans are not in place. But formalizing usage is very important. It takes care of many risks associated with any new technology or platform or approach or process. So I conclude based on the first poll, This highlights the evolving landscape of ML and AI adoption and the varying stages of policy development within organizations. 
While interest and discussions around ML and AI are prevalent, there is a clear need for organizations to formalize their approaches through the development and implementation of comprehensive usage policies. By doing so, organizations can navigate the complexities of ML and AI adoption effectively and harness the full potential of these transformative technologies while ensuring ethical and responsible deployment. Now I would like to focus on the risks associated with the adoption or usage of ML and AI, machine language and artificial intelligence. Forbes says five risks associated with this, the usage or adoption of ML and AI. Accuracy and accountability, skills gap, intellectual property and legal risks, costs and the end of humanity as one view. A LinkedIn article shows risks associated with adoption of ML and AI, legal and compliance risks, user monitoring and content moderation, the challenge of watermarking, financial services compliance, internal use and record keeping, Adoption trends, public versus private AI models, supervisory review and oversight, litigation and e-discovery concerns, and the regulatory horizon. Chat GPT, talking about Chat GPT, this is interesting. So a professor in UK, in England, asked this question. Put this question to chat GPT, chat GPT 4, and it threw four risks around its usage, its own usage, job losses, potential bias, loss of control, and AI arms race. So Forbes, a LinkedIn article, and a professor's question straight to chat GPT. Some risks are common. That's what we would have noticed. World Economic Forum, this is fourth one and the last one that I'm picking up today. Within its Global Risk Report of 2024, released early this year, has listed AI-generated misinformation and disinformation. So two risks, according to WEF, misinformation and disinformation about the content generated by AI according to WEF. So we cannot ignore that there are risks associated with usage of machine language and artificial intelligence in the corporate world. Then I list few more, about 10 from my side. Inherent error in GPTs, data privacy and security risks, bias and fairness concerns, algorithmic transparency and accountability, Dependency on external providers, robustness and reliability, over-reliance on AI decisions, ethic and ethical and social implications. And then out of my second poll, global poll, the results coming out like this. The question was, have you reassessed your risks recently in light of the increasing use of AI and ML, officially or unofficially, for example, chat GPT, but that's only one example of GPTs. You could be using something else. This longest tower, 56% respondents saying that no, they had not done a reassessment of their risks associated with the usage of ML and AI, but it was a good reminder. This poll was a good uh, reminder. So limited prohibition of AI usage from this second poll that I ran, only 11% of respondents indicated that their organizations do not allow the use of AI. So there are still some organizations in the world who are saying 
formally, officially, that AI wouldn't be allowed. Not yet, I would say. This suggests that a vast majority of businesses are open to leveraging AI technologies in some capacity, whether officially sanctioned or not. This fact has a relevance to one of the facts that emerged from part one of the research, where 48% of organizations had not yet issued a formal policy on usage of ML AI. Awareness triggered by the poll, as I said, 56%, which is significant proportion, admitted that they have not recently reassessed their risks, but view the poll, my poll, as a reminder to consider the implications of AI tools. This suggests while awareness of the need for risk assessment exists, proactive actions may be lacking among a considerable portion of professionals or organizations. This one fact itself is a positive outcome of this research that it has been successful in raising the awareness. Another 11% of respondents expressed their intention to reassess risks related to AI tools in the next review cycle. This indicates a forward-looking approach with organizations planning to incorporate AI risk assessment into their future strategies and decision-making processes. Current reassessment efforts based on 20% who responded that their organizations have already undertaken risk assessment in light of AI tool usage. This indicates a proactive stance adopted by some businesses, recognizing the importance of aligning risk management practices with evolving technological landscapes. Such low reassessment of risks is an alarming issue though. So the second part, I conclude like this. The findings highlight varying levels of awareness and preparedness among professionals and organizations regarding the need to reassess risks in light of AI tool usage. While some organizations have already taken proactive steps in this regard, others review the poll as a timely reminder to incorporate AI-related risks into their risk management practices. Moving forward, concert, concerted efforts are needed to raise awareness, integrate AI risk assessment into regular review processes, and benchmark against industry standards to effectively navigate the evolving technological landscape. Third poll of my this global research around AI usage is now running on a LinkedIn a poll where I'm asking a question, have you proactively engaged with vendors and suppliers to inquire about their usage of AI or machine language and machine language and the associated uh, risks? So my request is, please find me on LinkedIn, very easy to find me, perhaps there is only the one one Daman Dev Sood and look into this poll. Please respond to this. This will be a great contribution from your side to this research. And as always, I will publish the results and analysis, my analysis of your responses openly with all for you all. If you have any questions about this topic or about resilience at all as a whole, please feel free to write to me and I'll be happy to respond back. This was my weekly show, my top tips, which I do host every Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. IST. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday as well. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.